hair. Today we have a 45 minute low impact workout. And a shout out to Sabrina L. Uh, she asked me if I could make a longer low impact workout. So this one's for you and then all of you other guys. All right, so it's gonna be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. And remember to go at your own pace. So if you need to slow things down, totally slow things down. All right, let's get warmed up. Roar. All right guys, let's warm up nice and easy. We're just gonna drive one knee up and then out to the side. So stay on that same leg. Try to really think about engaging your core. And remember, you can go slower than me. It's totally okay. Or you can go faster if you're like, oh, I got this. Let's go for one more after this. And other side. Drive it up, other side. Oh, yeah. I can really feel it in my core because I'm squeezing it. And as we drive our knee up into the side, we're really crunching it. So it's a good standing abs warm up. Let's go one more on each side. And go ahead. Shake it, shake it, shake All right, nice and easy. Big arm circles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Warming up those shoulders. Again, keeping the core strong. We want to get used to engaging it while we do our exercises. And let's go ahead and go the other way. So my hair gets caught in my armpits. It's the thing about long hair. It's like, oh, it looks so nice. I'm a mermaid. And then you're like, ah, stop pulling on me to everyone. And then it gets stuck in those chairs, like especially if you go to school. You know what I'm talking about. Three, two, one, and go ahead and shake it out. Let's go for some regular squats. Feet a little bit wider than hip width if you need to. Sink it down and then drive it up. Squeeze that booty at the top, but make sure you're not hyperextending the spine like this. Just nice and easy, nice and neutral spine. Oh yeah. Now some people, if you're like me, um, I have to point my toes out slightly. It's not quite a sumo squat, but this is just my comfortable stance for my squats um, based on my hips. You just, hips don't lie. They just tell you where to go. Sink it down, squeeze, let's go one more. And go ahead, shake it out. Back to that upper body, crisscross those arms. Really think about squeezing your back when you bring your arms back. It's gonna be awesome for not only your back, but also to open up your chest. Because we know we're always like this, and like this, and like this. It happens. <laughs> Three, two, one, and let's go ahead, back lunges, let's alternate those legs. Sink it down, bring it on up. Try to keep that back knee off the ground. I still go with this sometimes, especially in the beginning, I'm always like, lol, <laughs> but don't do that. Uh, not necessary. Oh yeah. Sinking it down, keep it going. Let's go one more on each side. Last one. And go ahead, shaky, shaky, shaky. Let's just go for some nice marches. So instead of high knees, we are driving that knee up and then bringing our arms up with us. So it's a little bit different than the beginning. Exhale again. Every time you drive your knee up, this is awesome for standing abs. Almost there. Three, two, one more. One, all right, let's play with balance and then we'll be ready to go. So, stabilize on one leg, front kick. If you can, stabilize, back kick, and then switch. Or not switch, keep going on the same leg. But if you need to tap down in the middle, that's totally okay. Again, warming up balance, whoa, without adding weights. I will be using 10 pound dumbbells today. Let's go ahead and switch. Um, but you can go ahead and use whatever weight that you have. I highly recommend having a pair of heavier dumbbells for things like curls, for leg movements, and then lighter dumbbells for shoulder movements and cardio, quote unquote, cardio. Because <laughs> it's low impact. I go ahead, let's shake it and let's get started as I eat my hair. Okay, rawr. All right, starting out, we have a squat, pivot, and press. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab one weight, but you can totally grab two if you want to. All right, get in squat position. 
Yay. Okay, so squat down. You're going to pivot on the back foot and press. So slightly turn so that way you're facing the back so we really get those obliques, those side ab muscles. Engage that core. Sink it down. Press it. Keep it going, guys. Oh, baby. This one's going to be a good one. Sink it. Press it. Remember to go at your own pace. So that way you get the most out of the movement and your movements aren't sloppy. Make sure you sink down to at least 90 degrees, keeping that back nice and flat, slightly in front. All right. Next up, squat, uh, front kick with a back lunge. So I'm going to keep this weight just for fun. <laughs> All right. So stabilize on that left leg, front kick, back lunge, front kick, and back lunge. Remember, you can tap down here first and then get in that back lunge. And no, you do not need to use the weight. And sink it down. Kick. Get a nice, powerful kick. Because you guys are powerful people. And together, we are powerful. I feel like I sounded like a Klingon. <laughs> Star Wars, or not Star Wars, Star Trek, oh god. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Phew. I grew up on watching Star Trek, so. Woo! Sink it. Are you a Star Wars fan or a Star Trek fan? Let me know. Okay, so you're gonna keep stabilizing on that left leg. This time we're gonna bring right leg in back of us for a curtsy. So, sink it down, and then you're gonna come up on the tippy toe. Now, if coming up on the tippy toe is too much, you can take that out. So when you do this, make sure you're not turning. You're keeping your torso facing forward, sink down in that front heel, bring it up, and up again. This is awesome for the glutes on that left side, if you're doing the same side as me. And then for your calf, when you raise it up on that tippy toe. Keep everything strong, nice controlled with meaning. Stay with me in this workout, be mindful. Don't leave me mentally. We're only here for 45 minutes. It's already been like five. All right, so we're gonna repeat on the other side. Front kick with that back lunge. Ah, yes, all right, get ready. So front kick. Back lunge, nice and strong. You can go ahead and add both weights if you're really feeling it. Yeah, crazy person. Nice job, guys. Remember to keep that back knee off the ground when you're doing that lunge. I have to burp. Wait, there it is. Most of you are like, that was a hiccup. I burp and a hiccup at the same time. Are you really surprised? I'm not. <laughs> Sink it. Kick it. Arr. Woo! There you go. Kick. Oh my. Pew. Nice and powerful. Pew. Almost there, guys. Oof. That booty, though. My booty. Feels it. Okay, so curtsy and then single leg tiptoe. Other side this time. But really, booty feels it. It's great. Sing it down, bring it up. After this, we'll give the legs a little break. Move on to some upper body. Keep it going, sinking it, driving it up. Oh yeah. Up. Keep going, guys. Up. Finish it out, up, sink it down, drive it, finish it, sink it, drive it, Ooh, this is where I started to get a little funny, a little grossy gross. All right, reverse curl, front raise. So go ahead and grab both weights. You're going to probably want lighter weights. 
Roll your shoulder blades back and down, palms facing towards your legs. Reverse curl, bring it down, front raise, bring it down. So when you do that reverse curl, think of being a dinosaur. Dinosaur, elbows in. Now, common mistake I see, people go like this. Okay, keep your elbows in right next to the body, really thinking about your forearms. So top of the arms, in this case, super important to strengthen your forearms and grip. Keep going. Core strong so you're not swinging the body. Ah. Ain't nobody got time for that. Squeeze and up. All right, so next up, one side hook skater. We're gonna stay on one side for 25 seconds and then switch. So start out. We're gonna bring our right leg in back and then twist. Oh, sorry, one side. I got super excited. So you should really feel this in your core. You're exhaling every time you throw that hook. So again, right hook, right leg. Let's see what time it is. Oh, switch. Right on time. And I just cover my face with my other hand because it's just natural for me. Because when you fight, you gotta protect your face. Keep it going. Oh baby, 10 seconds. Keep going guys, almost there. Three, two, all right, nice job. Next up, we have single arm press walkout jacks. All right, so grab one weight. We're gonna press and step a leg out. Alternate legs, but keep on the same arm same shoulder. Now you should really feel this in the front of that shoulder. That's where front raises or um, front presses come in handy. So anterior part of that shoulder. If it's too much to add the steps to it, you don't have to. Stay on that same side, really burning it out. Exhale every time you press up. Woo. You really don't need a lot of weight for this one. So high rep. Oh my goodness. Finish it out. Oh baby. Now remember which arm you're on, so keep that dumbbell in that hand. Now, we are going to have our left leg forward coming into a static lunge. So you want to bring it forward, try to get that 90 degree on the front leg, palm facing towards you. You're going to bring it out. Squeeze. Think about squeezing your back. It's like a lawnmower, except you don't want to twist your torso up. Keep your torso pretty much parallel to the ground. Keep your core strong. Bring it out wide. Elbow up, pointing the elbow up towards the ceiling. Back nice and flat. Again, we're working that back. Woo! Keep going. Oh goodness. If it's too much to stay on the static lunge, Find like a chair or a bench or something, whatever you have. You can put your hands like this, resting on it, and then it'll take some pressure off of that stabilizing leg. Oh goodness. Woo! All right. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna repeat on the other side, because why not? I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's do it. So, press. Keep that breath going. It's really easy to lose it when you get tired, but we're not tired. We got this. Keep it going, staying strong, keeping that core strong. Again, we don't want to hyperextend the spine like this, so make sure to keep it strong so your spine is nice and neutral. Keep going. Oh my goodness, we love to do this. <laughs> Can think of a lyric to sing. <laughs> Alright guys, 10 seconds. We are going to do the other side. I have to switch the camera. 
because they can only record like 12 minutes, 10 maybe. All right, so other leg, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out, and squeeze. Again, back nice and flat. It's really easy to curl like this. I catch myself doing that, but luckily I have some freaking mirrors, and that's really nice. So I highly recommend if you set up mirrors, it helps you with form. It's not narcissistic or anything like that. It is awesome. Whew. Look, I get to see my butt in all angles. There it is. There it is. There it is. And it's endless over there. <laughs> Keep going. Whew. Oh, baby. Squeeze. Hello, right leg. I feel you. I feel you too, cat. Ay. That's nice. <laughs> All right, two squat pulse, tiptoe. That's why you guys really work out with me. So you listen to my awful jokes. They're not awful, they're actually wonderful. Okay, so dumbbell in front. One, two, raise it up on the tippy toe. One, two, raise it up. You are welcome to use two weights. I personally don't want to today. One, two, raise it up. One, two, oh baby. One, two, raise it on those tippy toes. Keep going. After this, we're gonna be strengthening the back again because back is super important. If you didn't notice, I'd like to do a lot of um, back and avoid too many push-ups. Just because most people these days, their chest is super tight from their posture because we're at computers on our phone all day. So, gotta strengthen that back. Oh, baby. Okay. Grab both weights. Come into chair pose. Feet are gonna be close together. Lean forward, back flat, elbows slightly bent. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep your neck neutral. It's really easy to look down at your legs or your tummy and be like, oh, they look good. But, Admire them another time. Stay with me. <laughs> Keep your neck neutral just to protect yourself. Oh yeah. Squeezing shoulder blades together. You don't need a lot of weight for this one. You really don't. After this, we are going to be working all the front of that body. Keep going. Finish it out. All right. Go ahead, put that weight down. So now we're going to work in all front of that body and come into plank position. So hands right under the chest. You're going to tap it out. You already know plank jacks, I'm sure. Um, but this is low impact. So you should feel this in your core. You should feel this in your shoulders, in your quads. Now make sure you're not slipping back. It's really easy to do that. Make sure you're pressing palms, fingertips on the ground. Display that weight evenly in your hands. So that way, you're super stable, super engaged, not drooping, no droopy jaws. And make sure you're not dipping your lower back. No way, no. Whew. Oh my gosh, my core. Flames. There are flames everywhere. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and come back up. Grab both weights. You got wide grip curls. So roll the shoulder blades back and down. Palms out. Raise it up. We're working the inner part of that bicep. There are two parts of that bicep. Whew. Whew. And curl. In regular curls, we work both heads of the bicep, squeeze, come down. Again, don't just bring the dumbbells up. I want you to think about squeezing that bicep right here, right here. Squeeze it to bring up those dumbbells. You don't need a ton of weight. When I really concentrate, I drop it down five to 10 pounds. Keep going. All right, so next up, a little bit of yoga while strengthening. So plank, 
to warrior one. So let's come down, plank position again. You're gonna walk one foot up, bring it up, sink down, and come back. Bring your left leg up, bring your arms up, sink down, and bring it down. Now, when you do this, try not to be short like this. If you are, then just walk it forward, take that extra step, then sink down, getting that 90 degrees as much as possible. Now, some people might have longer legs, so they might have their knees slightly in front. Just think about if that happens, and if it doesn't, sink in the heel of that front leg. So even if you need to, you can walk it back, and then bring your leg up, and just adjust. Some people need to do that, and that's okay. We're all at different levels in our fitness, flexibility, so do what you gotta do. <sighs> Static lunge, tricep pickback. I got legs. Okay. <laughs> Grab that dumbbell, have your right leg or left leg forward. <sighs> Elbow up high, kick back. Squeeze. Now, a lot of time I see this. Try and keep that torso whoop, as parallel to the ground as possible. Keep your back flat. Elbow up as high as you can, not down here. Elbow up high, straighten out. You're in chafing danger zone, so that means. <laughs> I will call it that. Um, your elbow is right next to the body. It's not out here. That's a lot of torque on your elbow if you keep it out too far. And exercise is not meant to hurt us in that way. <laughs> keep going. Really think about that squeeze, that burn right in the back of your arm. That's your tricep, three heads to the tricep. Because it's dry. <laughs> okay, we have the other side. So go ahead, right leg forward. It's hot in here. It's like 90 degrees outside. And I don't think there's air coming up here. But that's great, because then I'm warm. And my muscles are ready. So I, I honestly like it. Whoop. Press out. Keep it strong. Keep going, guys. Exhale. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale. We're almost halfway with our workout already. That's incredible. This is going by super fast. So stay with me. Modify if you need to. Remember, it's the same thing where if you need that bench, if it's too much on your legs, you can hold on to something. Just bring your elbow up high and extend out that arm. Oh, baby. Keep going. Finish it out. So have your feet out wide. You can use a weight, but you don't need to. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to pivot on both feet and then sink down. Come up, make that rainbow with your arms. Sink down, rainbow with your arms. Now for this one, it's easy to round your back. And I kind of didn't realize that until I was reviewing my video once and I was rounding my back. No bueno. Form over everything else. Form over speed. Slow it down if you need to. Once I started slowing it down and really thinking about form, that's when I found I had the most results. And I felt the best. Woo. Sink it. Okay. One more and then we'll be halfway. Side slip, front and back kick. Whew, okay, so what we're gonna do is pretend there's a bar here, slip under. Now with this left leg, front kick, back kick, just like in the warm up. Remember, you can tap down in the middle of that front kick and that back kick, that's totally okay. Squeeze that core as you slip under. Oh baby, squeeze. Sink it down. Keep going, guys. Pop. Roar. So much fun. Really powerful kicks. Front kick, back kick. Finish it out, guys. Okay. All right, guys. Woo! So, next up, back lunge. 
one arm front and side brace. So we're going to bring our right leg back, have the dumbbell in the right hand. Stabilize left foot, sink down, front raise, side raise. Bring it up. Stay on the same leg, same arm. Now, if it's too much to stay down, you can always just do back lunge, front raise, and side raise at the top. That's going to take a lot of stabilizing out because it's already uneven when we lift the weight up um, on one side only. Unilateral work. Unilateral. Yeah. <laughs> Sink it. Up, 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 up. Now make sure you control the weight. You're not just like flopping around like a magic harp. No, no, no. Don't use flail. It's not very effective. Or it has no effect. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Now, before we go to the other side, what you're going to do is Stabilize on the left leg, keep your right knee up, and we're just gonna kick, like this is it. Now, if this is too much, tap down, kick, tap down, kick. But you're really gonna feel this as we extend out that leg in the quad. Woo! And because the weight is on one side, it's gonna make it even more fun. You don't have to use the weight, P.S. Yes. Ooh, I feel my glutes on my left side. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Remember not to kick while you're flailing. Find your balance. Shake it out if you need to. I do. Oh goodness. Goodness gracious. Keep going. Oh, that was hard, but really fun. Okay, we're gonna go on the other side. See, exercise is fun. It is. You just gotta find the exercise that you enjoy. All right, so go ahead. Bring it back. Front raise, side raise. And you can drive it up if you want to, to give it a little bit more of a challenge, but you don't need to. Oh, why not? Oh, heck. Keep going. Get it out, out, and up. We are strong. Up and up. Stay strong, guys. Oh, goodness. Feel my butt. Oh, that sounded so wrong. Don't, don't repeat that. <laughs> All right. So today, Kat was like, I feel it in my butt. Gosh. Okay. So stabilize on one leg and kick. 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 Oh, goodness. Now, one side might be a little bit more challenging. That's okay. Again, tap down if you need to. It's not tapping out. It's tapping down. You're still in this game with me, baby. You're not leaving. Ah, ah. Okay, I'm done. I always wonder what people think when they don't know what the person who is watching this is doing. Because all you hear is, yay, and ah, just like these angry battle cries. What are you watching? <laughs> it could go two ways. <laughs> That's what she said. All right. Woo, almost there, and done. Good. Okay, next up. What am I doing? Where are we? Did that. All right, side lunge, hammer curl. So, grab both weights. You're gonna step to the side, push your butt back, sink down in that right heel, come up, and hammer curl. Now, I'm lightly tapping here. We don't need to do pogo unless you want to. So you can totally stabilize, just make sure shoulder blades are rounded back and down. Sink that butt back. Try to keep both um, feet on the ground. You're not like this. Okay, nice flat feet. Bring it up. Curl. Keep it going, guys. Push out. Whoop. Curl. Whoo. Ha. Hiccup. Ha. There it is again. Hiccup with a burp. Ha. Oh my. <laughs> All right, other side. Whoo. Shiki, shiki, shiki. Shiki, shiki. 
shake, shake, everybody, shake, shake, shake. Okay, we got the other side. Okay. Booty out, down, bring it up, and curl. Keep it nice and controlled with those curls. It's really easy while you're in motion to be like, yeah, reps, reps. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Take your time. And curl. Again, thinking about the muscles you want to work. Think about those biceps. Ooh, the next move is really fun. I'm excited. I legit just made it up. Um, but it's from boxing, so whatever. <laughs> Keep going. 10 seconds, guys. Really nice pounce off of that left foot. And curl, whoop. <laughs> All right, so you can add some weights to this if you want to. I'm not going to because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> okay, have your feet out wide. So one, two, you're gonna bob and weave. So sink down, sink down. One, two. Go back from the way with which you came. Sweep, sweep. Now squeeze your core. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Lots to think about, but make sure you're breathing too, because that's important. Pop, pop. Sink it, sink it. Keep going. Nice job, guys. Pop, pop. One, two, almost there. Pop, pop. One, that's good shit, two. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a weight. See how this works out. Have it on your left hand. Stay, uh, no, right hand. Stabilize on the left. So, you're going to do, oh shoot, left hand, sorry. Front kick and then knee. Front kick, knee. If you want to, you can hold the weight here and then twist. So if you notice, I'm bringing my knee out to the side rather than in front. I'll show you without the weight too. Knee up, side. I think I like it better without the weight so I can get my arms into it. You should really feel this in those ab muscles. And oh, I can't see the timer. I read it wrong. <laughs> what is this? The hair. Okay. So next side, same thing. Right? Okay, yeah. So front kick, front kick. Again, really think about squeezing your core every time you bring your leg up on both sides. going guys we only have 10 moves after this we already did 30 so I think you're good I think you're good to go I probably shouldn't have told you that because now you'll just be thinking about it <laughs> keep going keep that stabilizing oh my goodness Extensions and my 10 moves on Mundle 11. My bad. Okay, so keep your core strong, arms up, elbows back, and you're gonna press up. Now, common mistake I see this. Don't hyperextend the spine. Keep your core strong and extend. So you should feel this in the back of the arms. Now, it's really easy for your arms to flare out like this. Try to keep them as straight as you can. Inhale. Exhale up. Another option is to take one dumbbell if that's too heavy, make a triangle, hold it like this, bring it back, and extend. If that is still uncomfortable, you can hold it like this and extend out. Your elbows are going to be flared out a little bit more, but that's okay. <sighs> Sometimes I stagger my feet because it gives me a little bit more stability. Inhale, exhale up. Okay, so next up. Okay, so 
guy punch. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, more punching. So have your feet out wide. Again, you're gonna pivot on your back foot, punch, and then drive your knee up. Punch, drive your knee up. Just pivot, whoops. I don't know what I just did there. So pivot, punch, knee. Pivot, punch, knee. Another great standing abs move. Woo. Twist, punch, knee. I'm thinking too much, that's the problem. Woo. Keep it up, pop, knee, and back. Pop, knee, and back. Romanian deadlifts. These are for your hamstrings. So have your feet close together. Nice flat back. Look in the mirror here. Keep it close. So I like to trace my thumbs against my shins and my uh, legs. So push your butt back, hinge from the hips, back flat, 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 flat and up. It should feel like a stretch in the back of that leg. Now, if you don't have enough weight, go slower. Stay there, stay there. And you can stay there for a second and then slowly come up. Because I know I can deadlift more, but when I add a little bit more time under tension, that's gonna make it way more challenging. Keep that core strong. Nice neutral neck. And I'm gonna finish it. Done. Okay, so in and out shoulder press. Ooh. What were you thinking? Okay, have your arms up. So you're gonna go in, out, press, back. Another time where you wanna make sure you're not hyperextending the spine. So you're not like this, and you're not bringing your elbow or your wrist back like this. Keep your wrist straight as you can. Arms are at 90 at least. Bring it back and press. So try not to drop down here. Keep those elbows up. Bring it back. Again, I like to stagger my feet for more stability. With this movement, you're getting the chest and from the shoulder. With that press, like we said before, you are getting the anterior part of your shoulder. Keep breathing. This one always kills me. Oh, baby. Press. Almost there. Uh, okay, reverse front raised TR. So, this is fun. Palms are facing up on this one. Bend the elbows slightly. Roll your shoulder blades back and down. Squeeze the core. Bring it up, side, back, and down. Now, if that's too much where you're like, oh no, I just did front raises. Bring it out, side with one arm, back, and down. And you can just alternate or switch out the weights. Use something lighter. Squeeze your shoulder blades together when you bring it back and try to relax your traps. It's easy to shrug them up because you're uncomfortable. But our traps are probably tight enough from all the stressors in her life. We don't need more. And back. Up, side, back, and down. Almost there, guys. Stay with me, we're almost to abs. <laughs> this one's so challenging. Okay, drop one weight. We have knee marches with a twist. So, drive one knee up. It's just gonna be like the high knees we did in the beginning, but we're twisting. Exhale, every time you drive your knee up, so we're getting that core. Get that twist going. Keep it up, guys. Exhale, drive it up. Almost there. <laughs> Yay! I think I'm gonna get the yoga mat right there after this so I can use it for core. Just because maybe my back won't make farting noises again <laughs> and I won't slip everywhere. We'll see. 10 seconds. Exhale. Oh, baby. Three. Two and one, good. 
right, I'm gonna get that mat really quick. It's off camera. Look, like it's magic. Hopefully, my boyfriend doesn't mind. Oh, well, too late. Okay, so four bicycles, ten flutter kicks. So one, two, three, four. Support your lower back. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it did it, guys. <laughs> oh, that's what happens. Four, five, six, nine, ten. When you're shirtless. Three, four. Oh God. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There it is. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How can I avoid this? There we go. I just have to go like super slow. I think I'd rather have the farting noise. Okay. Swimmer back raises. So we're gonna work that lower back in this one. We're gonna flip it around. Come on your tummy. Extend out your arms. You're gonna raise opposite arm, opposite leg. Lift. Keep your neck nice and neutral. Lift. Squeeze that lower back. We're strengthening it. It is part of that core. Woo. Keep going, guys. Lift. I know it's uncomfortable. I really hate these, but they're so important to do. Keep going. Finish it out. Exhale up, inhale down. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> just, just beep, darn it. Beep. Okay, plank. Okay, I'm gonna plank position. Hands right under the shoulders. Alright, from here, you're gonna raise one arm, bring it to the side, and then switch. Try to keep your hips as straight as you can. You don't want to go like this. Try again, keep your chest as parallel to the ground as possible. Fingertips and palms pressing into that ground. And the side. Make sure your lower back's not dipping. If it's too much, come to the knees. You can also just raise one or you can just stay in a plank. If that's where you are, then that's where you are and that's okay. That's totally okay. We've all started out there. Oh, baby. Oh, goodness. I wonder when my first plank was. <laughs> when was that? Probably, probably a Jillian Michaels video. Okay, so we have giggles. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. I'm gonna need my timer for this. All right, so cross left ankle over right knee from here. Fingertips behind the ears, reach opposite arm to that knee. So my right elbow is reaching to my left knee. Now, you can keep your, keep your other arm out to the side to help push yourself up. <sighs> Inhale, exhale up. This is where using your breath is super important. <sighs> I'm trying really hard not to have back farts again. <laughs> it's a struggle, guys might be the hardest part of this move. <laughs> Kidding. Let's see the time. 10 seconds. <sighs> Inhale, exhale up. Uh, five, four, there it is. Three, two, okay. So guys, we have one more move and this is it. Let's freaking do it. Let's freaking do it, yeah. Okay. Okay, exhale up, inhale down. Nice job, guys. 40 seconds. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I don't have much external rotation on this knee, so it might look closed off. Come on, guys. We are over halfway, and this is our last move. And I'm hoping that my camera does not shut off on me, because <laughs> that would be really sad. You got 12 seconds. Ooh. Finish it. Oh, baby. Five, four, three, two, done. 
Dun, 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 dun. All right, guys, so we have finished our low impact workout for the day. So please do like this video before you go. We're gonna cool it down, but if you leave or you repeat this workout or you go to another workout by clicking the I, um, please do like it, share it with your friends, family on Facebook, Twitter, etc. It really helps me out. I'll try to reach as many people as possible. We're almost 10K, so I'm really excited. So yeah, all right, let's cool it down. Yay! All right, guys, since it is low impact, let's come down to the ground. Oh, baby. Okay, so have your right leg extended out, and then keep that left foot in the inner thigh and reach. Now, if you can't reach for it, it's okay. Don't force it. Um, reach for your ankle or your knee. You can also use a, an old t-shirt or a towel wrapped around your foot. I like to press this knee down for a little bit extra for my inner thighs. Let's go ahead and switch. Now this knee for me is higher. Um, that's just how it is right now, but I'm working on it. Yeah. And breathe. Breathing's good. Breath is good. Yes. Good breathing. Almost there. Woo! Baby. Let's go ahead, bring it back. And come down the ground. Bring your knees in. Oh, no farts. Okay, cool. <laughs> and go side to side. You guys did amazing today. Uh, don't forget to tell me what your favorite move was. If you like these low impact workouts, I can keep making more. And go ahead, bring that left leg down, right knee in the chest and pull. Breathe. Go ahead and take that knee, bring it to the outside. Opening up those hips, getting those inner thighs. And let's cross it over that body. Stand right arm to the right, look over that right shoulder. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty in here. <laughs> and go ahead, bring it back to center. Let's go ahead and switch. Me, left me in the chest and pull. We pull, we pull. Yeah. Go ahead, bring that knee to the outside. Breathe, one side might be tighter than the other, and that's totally okay. Listen to your body. Cross it over, extend left arm to the left, look over that left shoulder. This is really nice for your sciatic nerve. Running all the way from the lower back down to those feet. Feet, and go ahead, bring it back and down. Let's roll over on our stomachs like a puppy. Whoop, oh, whoop, Hands by the chest, press onto the knees, and then sit back in the child's pose, relax your neck. Press the palms to the ground. I like to keep my arms straight for this one so I feel it in my lats right here by the armpit. You can go shift side to side, press the palms one at a time in the ground. Walk uh, hands back to the feet, curl the toes underneath, push your hips back and straighten out the legs here. Get the hamstrings from those RDLs, lunges, etc. Relax that neck. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, shakey, shakey, shakey. All right, left arm across the body and pull. Look over that left shoulder. Keep it breathing. Go ahead, shake it out. Let's get the other side. Oof, ooh, this one. This one, this side. Oof. Shake it out, we did get those triceps, so let's go ahead, left arm up, back pull. Almost done, guys. Shake it out, I'm glad you stuck with me for the cool down. Super important, super part of fitness. Flexibility, mm, mobility. Shake it out, last one, clasp the hands in front. Pull the shoulders in, big inhale up. And exhale, sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. We are done for dinner, yay! We did it, you guys did. We completed our crazy, awesome, longer, low impact workout for the day. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, please do like this video before you go, and then follow me at Fitness on Instagram. 
I post a lot of other motivating stuff, um, a lot about like self-love and you know like struggles and how you can get through them and we can do it and happiness and all that jazz. And then please do share this with your friends and your family on Facebook, Twitter, etc. It really helps me out. Again, I want to help as many people as possible. We are almost to 10k, yay! Um, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. Leave a comment below. Tell me how it went for you. All right. I will see you guys soon. Rawr.